Okay guys, for this tutorial I'm using 5 8 inch brown grosgrain ribbon. I'm using a 1 4 inch white grosgrain ribbon. I'm using upholstery thread, a long needle, and of course your um, scissors. Okay, and for this football I am going to use 20 to 25 strips of my 5 8 inch ribbon and I'm cutting each piece into 4 inch strips. Okay, next you're going to go ahead and thread your needle with your upholstery thread. You can use regular thread if you would like. Um, the upholstery thread is just a little bit more sturdy and I can tug on it. Alright, so go ahead and secure a knot. I'll trim that off just a little bit. Alright, now we are ready to roll. And just like in the pumpkin puff tutorial, we are going to be threading our strips once we fold them. Fold them in half, like this. And then we're just going to thread them on the needle. I'm going to give about a quarter of an inch. You want that at the top. And just go ahead and thread all 20 to 25 pieces on your needle and I'm holding my fingers right here so they don't go past the needle here. Okay and once you have all of your pieces secure to your um, needle and thread you're just going to hold the top now. You don't want them coming above this needle here and what we're going to do is we're going to start bringing the loops down towards our knot, our knot end. Okay, and once you pull them off of the needle, this is what it will look like. Like a bunch of ribbon candy at Christmas. Okay, and once you have taken your ribbons off of your needle, now we're going to get both ends of the thread. I'm going to go ahead and clip the needle portion off. And then you're going to grab both ends of your thread. And we're going to scrunch everything together and then we're going to tie the ends together. We're going to pull really hard because it's going to form that uh, poof that we need. I'm going to and secure that. I'm going to secure it a few times. And then I'm just going to clip off the excess, turn it over, and you've got a cute little puff. Now we are going to just fluff it up to make it resemble the football shape. We don't need like a fully round puff this time. We need just an oblong, like a football. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my puff to a felt circle. I'm just going to um, put my glue here and then put it right here on the bottom so it secures, gives it something to secure to. Okay, now with that 1 4th inch white ribbon, we are going to add the stitching for our football on the sides and in the middle. You'll just want enough so you can glue and it's going to go all the way around both ends. Just like that. For the end stitching I cut about two pieces of four inch uh, of the white 1 4 inch ribbon 
and all you want to do is you want to find a back the back of a ribbon and add some glue and then come bring it down and over your loops and then glue it back down to another piece of ribbon you want to do that on both sides okay it's somewhat <laughs> starting to resemble a football I glued the two strips of white right here and tacked them down in the back. Ta -da. All right, now we're going to add the middle stitching. And again, I'm going to use that 1 4th inch white ribbon. And to determine the length, I'm just going to measure the width of my bow, which is probably about two and a half inches. Alright, and again I'm just going to find a, a good center spot for my glue and add this strip right here in the middle. Moving right along, now we are going to add the small stitching that goes across the middle. And for that part I just cut um, a few strips I'm going to go ahead and heat seal each end. And now we're just going to add them to that middle strip all the way across. Okay, and here is the football loopy puff bow. Um, I feel like it's missing something. I'm not sure what. Maybe I just need to play around with it a little bit more. Um, I don't know. From the pictures and everything, I thought it would be... I don't know, different, <laughs> but um, but it's still cute and a great way to celebrate your favorite football team and show a little spirit. Um, if you like this, be sure to visit the descriptions box below and check out the original link. And if you want to try it, leave me a photo on the Facebook page. And um, yeah, I'd like to see them.